hey guys welcome back to cheesy crafts for those of you that are new thank you for stopping by in this video i wanted to show you how i created or came up with the idea to create these um, flower pots as a mother's day card for this year i have obviously not only my mom and mother-in-law but a few friends that i wanted to make these cards for so i ended up making 10 but of course you guys know i'm only going to be showing you one i did have to make my own envelopes because these um they were not all the same size and they were definitely bigger than pre-made envelopes so i am taking a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and i'm going to fold it but I'm going to only fold it uh, to the area where I have about an inch from the edge. You guys can see it right there. And I am going to be using my ruler and a pencil to make a light line that's going to be in an angle. This um, doesn't have a specific measurement. Like I said, I made them all just kind of guessing or eyeballing. Um, now that little piece of paper that we cut we're going to flip it over and use it to get the same angle on the other side and however you want to do the width of your pot if you want it to be like short and stubbier then you could do that it all depends on you like I said I just kind of eyeball everything you guys so using that same little paper to help me but i also came back and used the ruler just kind of to help me make like a straighter line taking my scissors and cutting in the angle but once i get to that little edge i'm going to make sure that i cut straight up i'm going to fold it over and then um, flip it the lid to the opposite side and i was too lazy to go grab my bone folder so i ended up using the same ruler i had and just making sure that i get a a better fold now you guys know my favorite is to edge everything and so i took my beach sand which is my favorite to edge um crafts and things and i have edged all around the pot that extra piece of paper that we had we're going to be using to stamp um, our flowers now these are my layered stamps what you guys see right now and it's almost like cheating <laughs> because you guys well if you didn't know you guys like I haven't said it on previous videos but I struggle a little bit with finding where to place the light in shade properly when i'm coloring so i love layered stamps because they make the job like so much easier and i'm demonstrating here using the hero arts high biscuits and placing down the first layer now i did purchase the bundles because they do have like a bundle where you get the stamp set you get the four little inks and then you get the dies but you don't have to purchase the bundle because i do feel like they're a little bit pricey i mean you're getting three well four inks so you're getting four inks the stamp set and the dies which is five pieces um but they're like 30 bucks i want to say maybe a little bit over like maybe 29 to 35 dollars depending on how detailed the stamp is and you don't have to purchase them um together as an alternative and that's what i'm using now michael's has these little uh small ink pads that come in a, together and they're by hampton art and that's what i'm using it's a um, although like i said i did get some of the bundles i just wanted to demonstrate or give you an alternative that michaels does have the little ink pads that come together as a group and they're already like the same shade just light like light to dark so you don't have to like overthink but if you already have sh your own ink pads then just 
take the time to figure out you know what color combinations you want to use so like I said I didn't want to be wasteful so I wanted to make sure that that extra piece of paper that we had when we cut our flower pot was going to be used and I am uh, finishing up the center of the hibiscus flowers but I'm also going to be stamping a lot more and I'm going to fill up the paper as much as I can. I also ended up filling up some of that blank space with leaves and even though like I mentioned I did buy some of these in a bundle using a die for each flower maybe if I wasn't doing so many of them I would have used the dies however because I ended up making like 10 cards I it was faster for me to just fussy cut every single image um, and I want to say that took the longest because I stamped quite a lot like each card took about 14 to 15 flowers so imagine if I made 10 cards that's a lot of flowers and I fussy cut them all by hand and like I said that was the longest um, but I try to do it during my lunch break at work. I try to do it whenever I had free time. If I was waiting for my kids at practice or after school activities, I was just throw the images, the paper in my purse. Well, not my purse, but like my craft bag and cut them out while I waited for them to finish their practice. So like I said, that was the, I think that was the most time consuming so right now what you guys just saw i end up using the um, penelope d you are amazing stamp set and of course i'm gonna end up using the sentiment that says you are amazing and i end because this card is actually pink and purple i end up using the darkest shade of purple that i had from those little ink pads and stamping the you are amazing i like i said i've been doing this for a few days and you guys can barely see it on camera but that little box that you guys saw is all the flowers that i had been cutting up to this point and before i think i was looking for maybe a few more um leaves to add to it uh and like i said before you want to um, well i don't i haven't said this yet but i'm about to say it um you don't have to glue your flowers right away if you want to like figure out okay am i gonna like this but at this point i had already made a few cards so of course i was just like hey let's just glue this but before you adhere anything just kind of set it in place how you want it and play around with them so that if you don't like it you don't have to like uncraft your card you know what i mean like separated so like i said at this point i had already done at least three to four cards so i kind of know I guess what I was doing at this point <laughs> you know when so you just do something and then you're like okay I got the hang of this I'm just gonna like do it that's basically what I'm doing so I'm just adding a little bit of that adhesive I'm using the glue pens from Prima and these pens do get to get to these let me rewind <laughs> let me rewind these pens do get to get a little messy or to tend to get a little messy i can't talk and um but it's the convenience purpose i don't know i really like the convenience of using them um you know like because it's so fast like you just you know like use it a pen dab a little glue and i hear it whereas i didn't want to use like tape or double-sided tape because it would take longer to cut them for each individual flower um so i folded up 
now, now I'm putting flowers, which is the very bottom layer. I'm putting flowers on that little top of the flower pot. or the, It's not a lid, but you know what I'm talking about? Like all the flower pots have like a little edge. And that's going to, I'm going to use that to be my first layer of the actual flowers. Like it's, like the flowers are dripping out of the flower pot because it's so full or uh, blooming flowers I don't know that's kind of what I was going for so now I'm gonna flip it over and because I wanted that uh, the top portion to stay secure I am using double-sided tape to make sure that I secure that to the uh, front of the pot or of the card base I'm talking as if I actually have an actual flower pot so just flipping it back over and that's going to be our flower portions for that card. Now I search through um, once again the little box just to add another little flower on the outside. This was obviously a real, a real flower pot. It's not going to have that. But just to accentuate I guess the card. So I'm going to adhere one more little purple hibiscus to the bottom. Which, by the way, hibiscus and roses are like my favorite flowers. Um, I have a, uh, I have yellow hibiscus in my home. And they're, I call them blondies because they're yellow. <laughs> and they are so darn cute. I should take a picture of them. But anyways, what you guys see me here is uh, struggling with finding the uh, the edge of my washi tape. I basically took a scrap piece of paper and I am using a glittery purpley washi tape. And I am going to be bringing over one of my dies. These are from, are they from Simon Says Stamp? I'm not exactly sure. I'll try to put it in the description listed below. But I ended up, um, the dies come with the mother, mom, and then mom, M-U-M. So I went with the mother, of course. Well, I used some of the others for the other cards. I changed it up a bit. But uh, off camera, I have gone ahead and used my die to cut it out over the washi tape. And before I remove the cutout, I'm going to just bring my glue pen and run it through the back so that I have a sticky motherboard, if that makes any sense. Of course it does, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't want to struggle with putting glue to each individual letter so I just took my pen and rolled it right over <laughs> before I took it out and it's already sticky for you kind of like a sticker so you are amazing mother and then just going to put the little flower at the bottom and that is essentially you guys the completion of our mother's day card for this year um, like I said very simple uh, I feel like I said I think it's very simple I think it's very pretty the hardest thing that took time was the actual stamping of the flowers only because I did so many you guys that's going to complete our video for today you guys thank you so much for watching I also wanted to let you know that I am almost at 2,000 subscribers and I will be doing a craft giveaway so please stay tuned I hope that you enjoy and we will see you soon. Have a blessed week.